much, uh, Ayanda. Now, obviously, today, all eyes on that Gauteng High Court in Pretoria for the sentencing of Paralympian Oscar Pistorius. Uh, just a short while ago, we actually saw a uh, motorcade arriving, and uh, Judge Masipa has arrived at the North Gauteng High Court, accompanied by uh, police. And this is something uh, not new, as we've been explained by uh, our journalist, Griselda Lewis, who is standing by. Griselda, is that pretty much so the scene that you see every day when Judge Masipa arrives at the courtroom. Well, Ian, it pretty much uh, is that uh, Judge Togozile Masipa usually arrives at about this time, escorted by about three or four uh, policemen on, uh, you know, on, on motorbikes. And uh, she's escorted into the gate towards uh, the left side of uh, the North Gauteng High Court. And uh, often, you know, uh, just in the beginning when we tried to get shots of uh, uh, Judge Togozile Masipa arriving, you'd often get uh, police officers, officers a bit uncomfortable about us taking shots of that motorcade escorting her inside the court but uh, yes a normal course of events and it's been happening ever since the start of this trial yeah all right so it's a massive day uh, for judge masipa as well because uh, as as we've been speaking about the world is watching we are watching a lot of people are you know uh, i suppose pinning their hopes on the justice system for today uh, just to make sure that 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 a fair sentence is reached um Let's, uh, let's recap where we're at. This is the end of a very, very long trial, Criselda. Uh, just, you know, today, expectations? Mm. Well, certainly a very big daily. And I mean, Oscar Pistorius will know his fate. He will know whether he will spend some time in jail for negligently shooting and killing Riva Stienkamp or he'll simply walk out of this court. It's bound to be, uh, you know, a, a day of high drama as the Pistoriuses and the Stienkamps again come face to face on the opposite sides of the public gallery. And, uh, you know, uh, you know that the state has been calling for 10 years for Oscar Pistorius behind bars. And the defense basically doesn't want him to spend a single day in jail, say that there are, there are other corrective measures, including a correctional supervision. So certainly from the people that we've spoken to here on the streets, of Pretoria. Majority of what we are getting, Leanne, people are saying that Oscar Pistorius should do the time that fits this crime. Uh, you know that Oscar Pistorius, of course, was found guilty of culpable homicide. And the uh, more serious charge of murder, of course, was thrown out uh, by this court. Uh, Judge Togozile Masipa found that Oscar Pistorius was negligent when he pulled those uh, four, when he uh, pulled the trigger four times. But very importantly also, Leanne, is to note uh, what the decision will also be relating to the other charge that he was found uh, 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 guilty of, that of course relating uh, to the Tasha's incident. You might find that Oscar Pistorius uh, might not be allowed from this point on to possess a, a firearm. That is certainly likely in this case, but uh, certainly a day of high drama. It's been a very early morning here for journalists outside uh, the court as well. Very early uh, morning crossings waiting for the first person who usually arrives at about this time is the state prosecutor here in L. All right, so let's let's uh, cast our minds back to yesterday. Now, yesterday we saw um, Oscar's brother and sister, Carl and uh, and Amy, uh, or, or Emmy, I think I think that's how you pronounce it, um, on international news networks and and really speaking out in defence of their in, in in defense of their brother and saying they believe emphatically in their in his his innocence and and that he's a broken man. And, and again, we're being reminded of what Oscar is going through. Um, this last-minute PR exercise, uh, a lot of people are describing it as that. What, what, are, what are your views on this I mean, and some of the reaction as well? Well, Leon, I must indicate, I find it rather strange that, of course, an interview uh, has been conducted with uh, Emmy and uh, Carl Pistorius just yesterday while all along while there'd been requests uh, for the Pistoriuses to do interviews, certainly that was not granted. What we had been seeing over the past 18 months were statements that were often read out uh, by Oscar Pistorius's uncle, Arnold, and uh, 
you were not allowed to ask questions after that statement was read out. So certainly uh, many people were commenting on it and certainly uh, many other local journalists here also saying that they find it uh, you know, uh, quite odd that that interview was uh, conducted on the eve of the sentencing in this trial. So you know, while we are not uh, uh, at liberty or uh, in all fairness to say why that was the case because we certainly don't know, but it certainly has raised some eyebrows outside the court here about the timing of uh, the granting of this interview with Emmy and Carl Pistorius. Certainly both of them have shown to be very strong pillars of strength for Oscar Pistorius. We've often seen Emmy Pistorius break down. In particular, when Oscar Pistorius took the stand, she was beside herself. And also, Carl Pistorius, who himself has been through an ordeal of his own. He has been in a car accident. He was in a very serious condition, but he'd been wheeled inside the North Gauteng High Court here to continue to support his brother. So, really, uh, the interview uh, certainly granted um, uh, uh, to the international media uh, to speak about Oscar Pistorius certainly shows a yet again that unwavering support by Oscar Pistorius' brother and sister and their belief in his innocence, their belief in uh, them saying or believing what Oscar Pistorius' version is and continues to be that he shot and killed Reva Steenkamp thinking she was an intruder in the bathroom on that Valentine's Day morning. All right, Chris Lewis, let's wrap this up. Uh, I know we're crossing to you throughout the morning uh, for, for, for everything and, and, and news that's coming from the North Gauteng High Court. How long do you expect this is going to take? A lot of people saying um, that Judge Masipa uh, shouldn't be taking too long and that uh, within a couple of hours we should know. And it's not going to roll on one for hour. days. Uh, one hour. You think that's how long? Certainly is, Leanne. We understand she's going to take just about one hour. And of course, we're all pinning our hopes on what uh, uh, that sentence will be. And certainly that will give us an indication of what will happen to Oscar Pistorius. But it's not expected to last more than slightly over an hour, but possibly nothing more than that, Leanne. All right. Well, there you have it. Starting at uh, half past nine this morning, could be over at half past 10 this morning. So I have no doubt. I know where the eyes and ears of South Africans are going to be this morning. Griselda Lewis will talk to you again. Thank you very, very much for your time. Now.